Hi friends, I'm here to share a layout with my August 2019 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. Uh, this is a layout that is uh, was inspired by a close to my heart, make it from the heart album or book, <laughs> not album. Um, it has uh, double page layouts that close to my heart creates with their uh, pattern papers and such. And so ever so often I'll go through and um, decide I want to use like one of a two page sketch or even a two page sketch, not necessarily with those close to my heart papers, but I think you get my drift. It's like a sketchbook, um, like any other sketchbook. So here I am cutting down the pattern papers that I have in my kit. Some of them are scraps, the green check paper that is actually um, packaging. Um, it was too cute to throw out. So I opted to um, use it. Do you guys do that? I just finished a card series recently um, that I pulled out some old Kane Company packaging and used it. Um, I love Kane Company packaging. It's just as nice as their embellishments or papers or, or anything else. And so I hung on to that packaging forever um, with the intention of using it. And I finally did. So that felt really good. Anywho, so um, that's what I've done with this layout. And you can see I'm going through here and I'm choosing all of my embellishments and my pattern papers and everything. And I'm putting them down how I want them to be. Um, but I haven't stuck anything down in case I change my mind. This is one of those layouts that took place over a couple of days. Um, and I was kind of wishy-washy on it. I uh, had not made up my mind about anything necessarily as I was going through and laying this stuff down and this happens sometimes when I have time to put a layout together I will sometimes lay it all out um, the major bits and pieces where I'm going to have my embellishment clusters and my paper and that kind of thing my photos and then I'll go away or go to bed and come home the next day or whatever and yeah I'm not happy with it at all and I'll change it. And that's kind of what I was thinking with this layout. I don't know that I'm gonna necessarily leave this like it is, um, but I mostly do. Uh, I have these little bits and pieces. They're like half of a chevron um, and they came that way. Uh, they were part of an embellishment pack with this uh, kit that I started with from SEI. And so I'm just going through and laying those bits and pieces. I don't wanna have the same two pieces on the same, on the strips next to each other. So I'm kind of making sure that everything is moved around and I don't have the same ones close to each other. This one also has a ton of hexagons in it and I need to figure out a way. I have not used those hexagons as yet to uh, create a layout with, but there's a ton of little tiny hexagons. They're less than an inch. Um, wide and so I need to figure out a way to use all these tiny little hexagons. I might get out my hexagon punches and uh, create some bigger hexagons with some of my paper scraps so that I can put a layout together using all of it. So still I'm deciding on where I want things to go. I haven't committed to um, gluing anything down yet. I have been recently trying to um, use my kits as I go along, like in the month of May 2020. Let me go back. This is this kit that I'm using currently is in from August of 2019. And when I am using it, it is June of 2020. And so um, I try, I have tried this year to use more kits during the month that I create them. Um, like May this year of 2020, I used that kit that month, but I recorded nearly every process video, um, every layout, and so I still haven't uploaded those. <laughs> I'll get around to it. Yeah, maybe that'll come in August or September. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, when you get the time, you don't have the inclination or when you have the inclination you don't necessarily have the time so yeah 
How about you guys? When you create your kits, um, do you use them in the same month that you create them or at the same time that you create them? Or do you just stack them on a shelf or put them away? Um, I know Janet over at RTS will make kits and stash them away and then use them a little bit at a time. She uses those, I want to say they're through maybe a gallon, gallon and a half bags from that you can pick up at the, um, at the Dollar Tree. She uses those to hold all of her kits in. Um, and that's great for her, but I don't like those big bags to hold my kits in. I have like the iris boxes and uh, just 12 by 12 or 13 by 13 boxes, cardboard boxes that I keep my layouts or my kits in. And then if I use them a little bit and I want to put them away, I don't feel bad because everything stacks back up in the box. Even the layouts that I've finished with the kit so far can go back in there um, and stack back on my shelf until I'm ready to work with that kit again. But one of, one of the things that I do like to do once I open a kit and start working with it, I feel like I want to get it finished up. I don't want to put it away. Um, I'm typically inspired to continue working with it. Um, I have had a few kits um, that I will work a little bit with that are, they are mostly theme type kits, uh, like heritage kits or uh, ones that I have chosen for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And sometimes I'm not as inspired to continue working with those. And that's okay. I can put them on the shelf and uh, work with other kits and come back to those at some point. Currently, I think I have five kits made um, that I haven't touched yet. Um, oh, I take that back. One of them I think I have made several layouts out of. Uh, I have uh, one called The Collective. Um, that is, I follow a group of ladies who are using different collections. I don't think they're doing what I'm doing. I chose my collective kit, uh, curated it, and I'm planning to use it the entire year. And I've used it a little bit every month. And so that's been kind of fun to kind of uh, pick at that a little bit at a time. And uh, so I have the collective kit, and then I have the five kits that um, are mostly unused. And then I have one kit that is open on my desk that I'm currently using. Um, so that's what, six, seven kits in my room? That Now that doesn't include like card kits. Um, I have a couple of card kits that I have made up and ready to go as well um, for my one kit 12 card series. Um, one of them is a Christmas kit and then another one is just um, a regular kit, nothing nothing fancy. It starts off with a close to my heart um, paper kit, card making kit. So um, yeah, I'm just now getting to the point where I'm finally getting everything all glued down. Yeah, this has been, uh, this is a bit of a longer video for me. It, it The video itself was like 45 minutes long to start with. Um, and I've cut out probably at least edited at least 10, 15 minutes off of it and then sped it up even. And it still feels like it's a little bit draggy because it's taking so long to get everything all glued down. Not my favorite way of doing videos, but you know, I mean, to each his own. Um, and this is what worked with this layout when I was creating it. Now, each of those chipboard pieces that I have put across the layout, the first one over the far left photo uh, says so many ideas, so little time. And then the one over the center photo says brilliant. And then the one under the third photo is let's talk about this. Um, and I don't know if you can necessarily tell in these photos as you're looking at the creative process, but at the end of the video, I have close ups of the different embellishment clusters and the photos and things. And you can see uh, in the first two photos, my younger granddaughter and then my uh, older granddaughter have bubbles pulled over them. Um, we were at the Science Spectrum Museum and it was bubble day. And uh, so the kids would stand there and then one of the employees would pull this huge bubble up over their heads and let the parents, of course, take photos of them, parents and grandparents. And so we did. And as uh, 
almost as soon as I snapped the picture of my older granddaughter, the bubble burst. And so I immediately pressed the button again and uh, caught the bubble bursting around her. She was not happy because those those uh, bubble drops got on her. I don't. I think she thought that they would go back down into the water. That the the person who had pulled the bubble up would push it back down. <laughs> and so she actually went first before the younger granddaughter. And so she was not a happy camper about that bubble bursting on her. But she got over it. She had fun anyway. My younger granddaughter thought that that was just the best thing ever. She loved it. So. They had a lot of fun that day. Um, and these photos uh, don't necessarily match the clothing or the background behind them. And that's okay too. Um, my photos don't necessarily have to match the paper. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. It just depends on my state of mind when I'm creating. I think they're fun, happy colors. And that's what drew me to them to use with these photos. Um, just the fact that they... Uh, were the, the grandies having a great time. Now here I've taken a little bit of silver um, label and I'm adding a little bit of silver to each of these little clusters because that far left paper, well it's on the, uh, on the far left now, but now it's on the far right, the green, it has a metallic silver um, design on it and so I thought I wanted to add just a little bit of silver to each of these clusters to give it that feel. And so here um, I'm going through and I'm just rummaging through and seeing if there's anything else that I'm going to use. And I actually pull a few pieces off of this sticker sheet and they're puffy stickers and they're old y'all. Um, when you peel them off the paper, the adhesive stays behind, and so there's still a little bit stuck down on there, enough that I can, um, you know, mash them down a little bit, and they'll stay where I put them for the moment, but I do have to go back and add um, adhesive to each of those um, little puffy stickers. This puffy sticker says wonderful, um, and I put it right at the base of uh, those two strips there, I think that turned out really cute. Um, it didn't feel like it closed that space in above it or below it. That one is a sticker that says be good. Um, and it's a flat sticker. It's not a puffy sticker. And then this one is the word uh, love that I added up beside those two little strips. And then I've got laugh that I'm going to add down to the bottom cluster. So each cluster has like a little something besides those two uh, paper strips. Now I'm gonna pull out these enamel dots because that's where I'm at. I'm at the finishing portion of the layout. And so I'm gonna add three little enamel dots to each of the little clusters above or below the photos on each square uh, or each strip there. And then I'll go through and I'll add my journaling on. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here today, guys, and I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, I do this for fun. I'm not in it for the money. Um, at some point, I'd, I'd love to be a YouTube rock star, but yeah, I, I'm not all about the money or anything. I'm just in it to have some fun and hopefully to inspire you guys to, to get into your stash and create some stuff with what you have. Um, you obviously bought things because you love them and you have held on to them because you've wanted to use them. So I encourage you, please get your stuff out and use it up and then share that process with other people on YouTube. We love to watch videos. Everyone who makes videos loves to watch them as well. Anyway, um, I have photos at the end of the close-ups of each of the little clusters. So stick around for that and uh, I will turn some music on and let you guys finish up here. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.